the Church of Based. But some of you might not be familiar with the very epic Church of Bait Church of Based, but it's probably the most epic religion you've never heard of. And now, me and the boys have put together a church of based with all the commandments that come with it. And we even have Joseph Jones himself. I know y'all can't see him. He's invisible, but this is going to be epic. But I am in a cult what now? <laughs> Oh no, what the hell? I don't mean to break the spirit, but I have an announcement to make. Get the fuck off my fucking place. Let's go, everyone. Please kindly take your seats in the, like, steps of whatever. All right, where do we put the donations? All ah, right, we're the church. We have to make money somehow. Um, you can, like, I don't know, throw diamonds at me during the, the show or something. I don't know. All right. <clears throat> Hello, fellow brethren, in faith and all newcomers. As you are aware, this is our now first official church meeting in these halls, meaning that all of you have the great honor of being the first witnesses of the Church of Based. With grand effort, we have erected this place to pay homage to our Based God. Through your information, we are the official church. We're too based and red-pilled to hang around these losers to quote their great founder, Pope Francis, more like the Pope can go suck my redacted genitals one. Before everything, there was nothing except God. He was too based to not exist. He then got bored and understandably started to fap. God soon realized he had nothing to fap to, so he created the universe from his first nut. He created the stars out of his tears of crying himself to sleep. He created then the planets of moons in hopes of one day creating life that could produce some high quality fap material. His first attempts of life resulted in normal animals, not good fap or banging material he tried. Unlike popular belief, God did not first create a guy, but instead created a big titty goth girl called Eve. She insisted on only being called E to sound edgy and non-mainstream, despite the fact only one person actually called her Eve. After a lot of time together, he was still not satisfied. He needed something more. He longed for true pleasure. It was then he uttered the words to create the purest life of all. There shall be bussy. Out of his word and will sprung a trap into existence, a pure manifestation of God himself. A creature in his pure image, a slender and beautiful yet feminine creature with a cute dick to improve it. Day and night of passion followed, and he declared his first law. Traps ain't gay, fam. His son and daughter ventured out into his gardens. He let them go to create more. People to screw. Obviously, he kind of forgot incest would occur, so the trap became more and more degraded. All still of godly blood, but only the precious few of God's very design. Thus came to be the average guy as we know him today. Something happened to the goth girl, creating children who would gradually be of mostly smaller bust and thigh size. People's morals dwindled terribly after the first couple vanquished. People started to create systems like racism or homophobia. God looked in disgust once people started to think that, despite his most grand law and word, people started to think that traps were actually gay. He knew that he somehow must bring people onto the righteous path. He had sent a messenger upon the blighted people. His son, a trap in his image known as Ishmael, or as the non-base would call him, Jesus, this child was given upon the virgin Mark, known as Mary by the church, a trap who was gender-bent into being able to give birth to Jesus, creating the first Futanari in the process. All right, now as I promised you guys, I've been fortunate enough to get Joseph Jones, so allow me to silence myself and let him take control. Who y'all 
Cheese, 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 cheese